Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alien Addict. I've hit 4,000 subscribers, and I don't know what to do. I want to say a massive thank you to all the each and every single one of one of you that are actually sticking with the channel that have not just subscribed and not come back and forgotten about the channel the people who are active on this channel that leave the comments that support the channel the patreons everybody who supports it by sharing the videos out even hitting that thumbs up get you know get one of them uh, home agree thumbs up I, it's overwhelming, honestly, it really is, and I'm not being funny there at all, because a lot of people might think, you know, 4,000 is not a lot, is he being sarcastic here, um, for me, it's massive, uh, I've, every, every morning recently, I'm waking up and there's new subscribers, I try not to look at the actual subscriber count, but I'm noticing the views going up and everything, and it's kind of like, what's going on, is someone finally lifted the the lid off this and just giving me a little bit of you know what's the word I'm looking for whatever I'm, word I'm looking for they give me that um leave in the comments the word I'm looking for I can't tell you the amount of times that I've considered giving up this channel um I've lost loads of family time well what I consider a lot of family time I mean right now my my missus uh, and two little boys are in the park. Probably should be there. I think I've said that before. It just goes to show this is this is what happens. My missus understands totally that I need to get videos out to you guys um, when there's no interviews to do. I've got interviews in the pipeline, but they're all in the pipeline, you know, because people are at different time zones to me. Uh, I have to work out times, dates. That's good for both of us. Um, but yeah, the amount of times I've lost out on family time is crazy. And then there's the, the job opportunities that I've lost, you know, one in particular, really good business opportunity over a year and a half ago. I didn't get that opportunity and it was, I found at a later date. It was because I have this channel I don't know if it's because it's a YouTube channel uh, that's got a few thousand subscribers or because it's about UFOs and aliens, and if they, they didn't think I was saying in the head, I don't know. Um, I don't care now, you know, bollocks to them. But yeah, guys, I'm ve very, very much here to stay now. I've got this in my head that I need to make this work, I need to one day turn this into the day job so I can do something that I love doing and that's doing videos for you lot so I'm working on getting I think I've told you this before but I'm working on getting my garage converted into a studio um, it's going to cost an absolute fortune but I think it's going to be worth it I've put more money into this channel for anybody who's ever said it's just you know YouTube is just doing it for the money this that and the other the clickbait videos I've put more money into this channel with equipment, I put thousands into it over time, um, than what I've got. I've probably earned less than five hundred pounds in the time that I've been on YouTube, and that's what five years. So work that one out. What that is, uh, how much that is a a month. Um, honestly, I don't care. It's it's, it's a it started out as a hobby, and. I, I want to turn this into a career. So I'm asking you people what it is. What can I do for you? So you tell me what you want from the channel and I'm going to tell you what I want from you guys. So if you're watching this now and you've had an experience of your own or you know somebody who's had an experience or you've got some sort of crazy story, then I want that. I want you to email me, uh, alienaddictuk at gmail.com. I'll put it at the bottom for you now, so, and it will, you know, it will be in the dis, uh, dis description. Email me um, your story. 
if you want to come on the channel. So I had a gentleman um, email me the other day with a fantastic story. And I think, if you're watching this now, I think you want to come on the channel. Um, but you're scared to. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but you don't you don't want your family um, to know. Uh, you don't you don't want to be you know you, you, it's hard for you I understand from what you said in the email um, if, if anybody is in that situation they're dying to come on to tell the story but they don't want the face to be shown we, I don't have to show your face I can even probably change your voice if you're that paranoid but I don't honestly this is a small channel I think it's very slim if one of my friends came on and you know wanted to talk about aliens or what have you and they didn't want the mum and dad to see the mum and dad don't watch this channel so i wouldn't worry about it too much um but if you have a story and the story's true you then you know what i say fuck them fuck what anybody else thinks of you you know i say stuff all the time when uh so 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 my dad is a, is a bit weird I love my dad to pieces. My dad got me into... I think I've told you guys this. My dad saw a UFO out at sea. Something shot up over the ship at a speed that he just couldn't comprehend. So they, he was in the Merchant Navy. And they, I think I think he said there were about six of them on deck. And this is in the day. And they had to call it in as a UFO. And that got me intrigued about this. My dad, my dad has told me stuff about ghosts as well. Um, and but then he says to me, he doesn't believe in any of it. He believes in aliens, this, that, and the other. But he doesn't believe in ghosts. But he's touched a ghost. He's a weird kettle of fish. He's my dad. He's a very, very strange man. So I, I, I have little debates. Oh, I'll tell my dad something that's going on. I remember showing him the Bob Lazar, Jeremy Corbell documentary, and my dad just sat there and said he's talking a lot of shit. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's odd. It is odd. A man that's had an experience and then... So I, I get... My point is I get where you're all coming from. You might have a parent like that that if they see you speaking out about this type of stuff, they'll just like look at you and say, I'm writing you out of the will. But honestly, these stories need to be told, guys. And... This, I, I believe this is honestly the future of this channel, is me interviewing you lot. Um, and hopefully I'll get some people on that are well known as well. But I think, I think what I want to do, rather than, and this is God's honest truth, this, rather than interview the big boys, is interview you. I don't mind interviewing some big boys now and again. That sounded wrong. Um, but I, I, I don't think anybody's doing that. And that's what I want to do. I want to get you guys on. You guys tell me your story. And then I will edit the hell out of it. You know, it'll, it'll have a bit of humour to it. Um, so if uh, I always warn people before they come on, on the channel. Uh, when we have a look. We have, we have here's how it works. Here's how an interview works for me. So we'll do a Skype call. And I generally have a bit of chit chat for about half an hour or so before we start the interview where I kind of lay out. I say, look, there's a bit of humor in this. And I, I'll just say, you look, I'm going to question you. There's something that I think is a little bit out there. I'll question you. And you know what? Everybody seems to be fine with that. Um, so, I mean, if you are telling me a, a bunch of bullshit, I, you know, I, I, I'll question it more. I'm never going to get somebody on the channel that I'm going to be horrible to or anything like that unless they're horrible to me back. Unless they're horrible to me first, should I say. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I believe everybody's got the right to, to speak out and speak the mind. And I want to make this a platform for you guys that have had these experiences. Because, I'll be honest... I'll get people on here that probably are either lying to me or telling me something that they believe happened that probably didn't, that probably was something else. But there will be the odd person that I get on here that will have that story that is intriguing, 
that is probably without a question the person is telling the tru- the truth and I believe that this is how I can do my bit for U- UFOlogy, you know, it's um, I hate it when people do that so that's the plan going forward. I kind of want to get this portfolio going of all these different interviews. From, and I think after a while, we might start seeing a pattern. You know, we might say, see somebody come on. They might tell a story. And we're like, oh, hang about. There's two people now being on Alien Addict that have told a very similar story to that. Um, and... You guys are really good ju- judging the people that I'm interviewing and body language, this, that, and the other. I've seen, I've seen channels mention body language. I will say sometimes it is hard uh, to read the body language on my interviews because it's a Skype call. Now a Skype call, um, it, I see a bigger screen than what you're seeing, so you just see this kind of. So if somebody goes off camera, it's the Skype call that's done that the way Skype's recorded it, so I do apologise. It's not being me being unprofessional. That probably should use a better platform than Skype, I don't know. But yeah, if as well, if if you are questioning my integrity, if there's any channels out there, and I know there is some channels that have mentioned me that's done videos, that's done video analyses, analyses, that sounds weird, on... Uh, my interviews and stuff. I don't mind people playing clips, by the way, from my videos. I couldn't give a shit. Play as much as you want. It it just brings traffic to me. Even if it brings the dickheads to my channel. I don't care. I can turn a dickhead right around. Um, but yeah, if you've got something bad to say about me or you question my integrity, then why don't you just come on the channel? Why don't you send me an email and say, look, I've got problems with you, this, that, and the other. I want to address it. I'll have you on the channel like a shot because I, I I like a challenge. But um, believe you me, at the end of that interview, we'll be best buds. Um, guys, these these interviews are are important, and I think them now the more important than ever, especially for the for for how I want this channel to go. So, like I say, you have stories. You want to you want to make yourself heard. Come on the channel, you know. You might be wanting to get a UFO channel yourself and you think, how do I get my foot in the door? You know, come on, tell your story. And, you know, if you if then if you're making a channel, I'll introduce your channel. It's not a problem. Um, but, yeah. Interviews, I believe, is the way forward, people. And I think... I'm looking forward to it. Really exciting interviews with more people from different cultures, different backgrounds all over the world. It's going to be tiring, uh, but it's going to be fun. And I'm down for fun. Guys, like I say, I cannot thank you all enough. If If you like the channel and you think other people may like the channel, then share the channel out to them. You know, it'll help me grow the channel even more. Thumbs up, um, apparently the help. If you could thumb it up, then thumb it up. Uh, but yeah, share the videos out. I wouldn't share this one out because if I got sent this and I didn't know who this uh, skinhead bearded Englishman was, I'd just probably turn it off after about three seconds. Um, but yeah, if you could share like interviews out, anything interesting that you might think somebody else can relate to, Send it. Send, send them the link. It's it's the way to build this channel and get a close community as well of people that kind of know each other. Um, I've got my Patreon page, so if you have been thinking of becoming a Patreon pay, uh, pay becoming a Patreon page, becoming a Patreon, then check out um, the link. It's in the description. Uh, and thank massive thank you to the twelve Patreons that I've got. I never thought that it would grow this fast. Um, and I know for some other YouTubers, 12 is not a lot of pay. It's a lot to me, and uh, it means a lot. More than anything, it, that's what it, it means a lot to have the support. It's not just the money. It's the, it's the fact that 
people b uh, believe in me. Um, that's the most important thing to me, that people like what I'm doing, they appreciate what I'm doing, and they want this channel to progress. Um, and here's, guys, it's been a shit year in terms of um, what's gone off. But from for my channel, it, it's good and it's growing. So I, I, I can't thank you enough. And I hope everybody is well, safe. And on that note, I'm going to say good night. God bless. Mind the bugs. Don't bite. I'm Alien Addict.